Hello everybody and welcome to Captured, where I'm actually captured. I think the giant gout of blood all over the world does not <laughs> make me confident in our chances of it's someone being else's uncaptured. Blood. It's someone else's blood. I don't want to play this game. This game is like, well, you already <laughs> fucked up. Here's your horrible death. <laughs> There's a right. chance. There's always a chance. A game I should be moving, progressing forward <laughs> in life. It shouldn't be like, well, here's the last miserable nine minutes of, of your it's life. Okay. It's okay. I'm, I am I was on a comfortable bed. No, it's not okay. My life has been shit up until now. I did not need it to end in a fucking cinder block rape dungeon. You were okay? in a bed, at least. At least they were kind enough to give you a bed. How fucking hospitable. Oh, really? And are no longer in the forest overhead. You are now at the start what? Of you're like looking around, you're like, I'm not in the forest anymore. What? Down here, <laughs> we're going to play a little game. In order to escape each chamber and progress to the next, you must locate the chamber's activation lever somewhere. I like how he's telling you what to do when you're like slamming your head into a door. <laughs> There's levers, but this one's not the one. It's a fucking toilet. Get away from it. You see, you are not alone down here. There is a man who wishes to cut you up and eat you. His name is Damien Clyde. What? He's got he's got your name. He's got your name. Damn it. So this this is what this is. This is us. <laughs> 30 years from now, where I built a murder dungeon and thrown you down there to starve, and I'll just let people go down there and you kill them. That doesn't sound very... It's a little less embarrassing than what we do now. <laughs> Let's see what Damien has in his fridge. Okay. I would have recommended some frozen dinners. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is frozen dinner. <laughs> chilled. I don't think they're... They're frozen. Yeah, they're probably but, uh, rotting. All right, there's a lever. I wonder if you have to like walk in there and like change out the stock. <laughs> you know, like, oh, oh, all the heads rotted. I'm gonna throw them out of here now. This is disgusting. Yeah, because you'd have to clean this place up, and you'd have to smell that shit. Why are we? I don't need to think in depth about. Yeah, the fucking my details stomach is it. churning already. <laughs> Having a murder dungeon. Oh, shit. oh great. Oh uh, yeah. I noticed that you probably need a tracheotomy. <laughs> you should have stopped smoking. Well, for the last 130 years, it sounds like you've been smoking. What is this? Want to eat? Well, hold on, hold on. Let's let's listen to pervert grandpa here. Let's listen to Marlboro Man fucking explain what's going on. Uh oh. Oh, damn. Okay. I like how the door opened and you didn't even turn and look. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'll get to that murderous cannibal later. So I love that he has. I love that he has your name. He's blind. That's... So what? Am I gonna be blind in the future? Well, he's also it, his blindness has rendered him into a hapless subhuman idiot. So I guess he's you. How he got there doesn't matter. You know, you're similar. Oh, God. All right, so I'll just pull this lever, and hopefully he won't kill me and eat me, like he said. Oh, fuck. I will probably, yeah, he'll probably hear the sound and then come and kill you. Why are there always wooden pallets in underground dungeons, too? That doesn't make any sense. To me. Hey, man, he has money. I think that's just been in movies for so long that when the things get designed, they're like, well, of course, that's a wooden pallet down here. People need to sit. We couldn't bring chairs down, which are less heavy and more comfortable. All right. So. Talked uh, all through that. What he said? Well, there's two levers, and I guess the yeah. one opens a door, but we got to open this one. Damien's going to come out. Come on, you fucking cocksucker. 
is not a very diplomatic approach to this situation. <laughs> I'm sorry, but... I don't think you should be locked in a room with a murderer and your first words to him should be, Come on, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> you want to make this a game? Come on, bitch. Come on over. All right. <laughs> that went from, like, very aggressive to very timid. <laughs> and one... <laughs> come on, you fucking... Just come on over. <laughs> I'm, I'm a come little on. frightened, I'm not gonna lie. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, are you? Because there's 10 gallons of blood on the floor and a cannibal <laughs> in the room. Yeah. I think they left it. Really, really odd. Really it's odd. Right. Yeah, I'm sure that's what it's it is. It's probably fake anyway. Yeah, all right. I'm sure I'm sure they went to these lengths just to pull a joke on you. <laughs> there's a rocking. Fuck! <laughs> fuck! Shut oh. up with that. Shut I'll fucking kill you myself. Oh, I thought I was going to die. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gotta listen to fucking. <laughs> gotta listen to the guy with the <laughs> charred esophagus waxing <laughs> philosophical about mankind. I'm jerking off to his voice, I think. I. That's a perfectly reasonable thing to think that's probably <laughs> happening here, because I am hearing someone grunting. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Let's. Hopefully he'll say something that's fucking good. Let's add some more fun to this game. Have you ever heard of the head crusher? It was a torture oh, class. Man. Of course, in my medieval torture class, I <laughs> Whoa, wrote my dissertation on the head crusher. Ah, shit. This is really bad writing. And very long-winded. He says the same thing, like, two different ways. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, it's a head crusher. It uses metal to crush his head. With, yeah, it crushes his head. We got it. Okay, so what do you need to do here? I think... Paraphrase it before he coughs he's, up the He's lung. talking about it. Hang on. Yeah, I think you need to sum this up for us, buddy. We 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 talked through too much of it. All right, three wheels. I got it. Uh, what do what do you do with the wheels? Hang on, he's talking about it. I'm impatient. What do we do with the wheels? So what the I wheels. got? What do we do with the wheels? We have a the choice wheels? to save this guy's life, but at the same do you time, turn the wheels? we gotta fucking move the wheels. But Damon's gonna be in here, so we're gonna die. Can I drink the beer on the ground? It's empty. It's Damien choice, drank it. Sir. Well, isn't that yeah. just the fucking cherry on the shit pie? He leaves empty beers down here? Oh, I kicked it over. And you knocked it over. Yeah, fuck, job, that fuck that bottle. Fuck that Okay, so what do, you, what do you gotta do? You gotta turn these levers <clears throat> to not crush his head, right? Right. But at the same time, they're squeaky, and Damien's gonna fucking hear me. How the fuck? <laughs> Oh, shit. I hope he just WD 40 oh. them like the day before and then he was like, shit! They're not squeaky anymore! Damn it! <laughs> and he's just oh, upstairs like, ah! I gotta smoke 10 packs of cigarettes now! Alright, here I go! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! Oh, shit! I'm stuck! No! Oh, oh God! No. And the last oh. thing you saw was the useless pallet! Damn it! Damn it! Fucking fuck! Fuck! Fuck you! Game over! Game over. A bit of a euphemism for I was chopped up and eaten by a freak. Well, that's good. Happy... I think that's... Ever After. No, that's not Happy Ever After. That's <laughs> the complete opposite of Happy Ever After. If you'd like to support Team Damien and see Kyle burn in hell, click the window to the right. Or if you want to support Team Kyle and you've had a family member who's tragically killed themselves after hearing one of Damien's terrible jokes, click the frame to the left.